Paul Varbrace, uh, another tremendous performance, back-to-back -back innings victories here at uh, Hove. You must be absolutely thrilled. Yeah, delighted. I, I thought the um, over the course of the three days, we played a lot of really good cricket. I think there were times where we had to show not only a high level of skill, but resilience as well. Um, losing the two wickets after lunch on the second day, um, Allsop and Coles getting out, and then leaving Simpson and... Um, uh, Clark to play as well as they did. I, I, you know, we're all delighted that Tom Clark's got a hundred. He, he, he's someone that we know that's got a really high ceiling. He's an exceptional player, and perhaps doesn't. I, I think I said the other day after the T20, you know, he looks a very fine T20 player. He hasn't quite scored the runs in Championship cricket, so everyone was delighted today. You know, when he was in the 90s. Everybody on our staff was in the viewing room willing him to 100. And, and that's a very unique experience for a professional sports team to be. And when he got his 100, the whole place erupted because everyone was so pleased. He's such a popular player and everyone knows how hard he works. But that period, I thought, where John Simpson and um, Clarkey played exceptionally well. Uh, but our, you know, our bowling throughout has been very, very good. And I keep saying it, but Jack Carson's just getting better and better with every game. It's not just his ability to take wickets but his control as well in both innings of the game is exceptional um, our catching has been very very good we had one rare one that went between um, the two slips off Clarkey in the first innings but generally our catching has been exceptional um, and, and I, I think you know the, the, the lads thoroughly deserve their win and to be honest I was a bit nervous coming into this game because Glamorgan have had the wood overs in every game this year they've beaten us in every game you know the 50 overs two T20s and the championship game and they gave us a, a proper beating in the in the championship game at Cardiff early in the year so you know to bounce back and play as well as we have done it, it is really exciting Got to speak about your skipper you know 500s a thousand runs for the season it's been an extraordinary season for, for, for John it has yeah and, and you know along with his keeping and his captaincy you know I can't think of too many people that have had a better season in county cricket all round you know he's, he's led us what is that now seven victories um, he's kept wickets superbly all the runs that he's scored um, you know he's turning out to make me look like I know what I'm doing um, which is quite helpful really um, but he's been outstanding and, and he works exceptionally hard he's, he's still one of the fittest if not the fittest in our team by a country mile um, and he sets good examples on a daily basis and, and that's something that you know I, I I can't applaud him enough for that. You know, he, he's very cool, very calm under pressure, and and he just does his job. But he does it exceptionally well on a daily basis. And he's, you know, he's one of those guys that he's an eight or nine out of ten every day. Um, and and that's something. And again, it's no surprise the the game at Cardiff when we got beaten comfortably, he bagged a pair, which I think you reminded him of the other night, which I'm sure he was really pleased about. And it's the only pair he's got in his career. So. Um, you know, I think that that shows the impact that he has had on our team and continues to have on the team. Can I ask you about Henry Crocombe because he, you know, there's only sort of one spot available in this side, and he said to me after the first day, what made 54 as a night yep. watchman. He said, I'm in the team now, I want to make the most of it. I, I felt he really did in this game. He, he's been excellent in the last two games. So James Kirtley has done some fantastic work with um, Crokes over this winter, uh, and Crokes has. You know, I don't like to, it sounds patronising, but has matured so much as a young man in the last 12, 15 months. He really has. He's a fantastic lad, very popular, and he was capable of bowling well and probably played a lot of cricket before perhaps he was ready to play and was almost learning to play cricket full stop but at first class level. And that's, that's quite tough on a young player. Um, particularly without too many senior players around him to help and guide him. But James Kirtley has done an unbelievable job with him. And over the course of the winter, Kurtz and Croaks have worked so hard that there's been a couple of modifications. And recently up at Scarborough, they made another couple of modifications to his angle of his approach. And Croaks is not only taking wickets, but he's bowling exceptionally quick. He's hitting people on a regular basis. And both games have been with the Cookerborough, which supposedly is a little bit softer. Um, but he's hit people hard. And, you know, that's really exciting. And then coupled with his runs, you know, that, that almost takes a bit of pressure off his bowling. If he scores a 50 and, and played like a proper batter, yeah, you know, he didn't play like a tail end. He played like, and again, he's worked really, really hard on his game over the winter. And, and he, again, he, it's the, the great thing about him is that he hasn't moaned, he hasn't complained. He, he's used the time wisely to keep working hard at his game and he's now getting his rewards. And I, I don't see him not playing now for the rest of the season um, because of the, the fact that he, he's given us wicket-taking options. He's bowling with really good pace. He, he's always been excellent in the field, but you can just see the boys growing with confidence every time he bowls the ball. And, you know, we're all delighted for him because he, he deserves it because he's worked so hard. And as I say, he's not moaned, he's not complained, you know, he's not grumbled, he's just got on with it. But he's worked really, really hard to give himself the best chance. 
it's not done till it's done, but Sussex are in a great position now, Paul, to secure promotion. Nine years since they've been in the first division, and it feels like it's tantalisingly close. Yeah, it's close, but it's not done, is it? You know, it, it, it's to win seven games out of 12 is a fantastic effort. It really is. But fair play to Middlesex and Yorkshire, they're making it tough. And, you know, that, that's, that's what you want it to be. Because if we do get promoted, and it's still an if, if we do get promoted, we know it's going to be a tough ride in Division 1. But, you know, our goal was to be there or thereabouts going... We, we talk about every game going to the last day of the four-day game with a chance to win it. And that's that's been one of our goals that we've talked about for two years. We're now going into September with a chance of being promoted and, you know, hopefully winning the title. But there's two games to go. We know that we're going to have a tough game at Bristol next week. And obviously we have Middlesex here for the last game. All we can do is focus on the next game and the first hour of that next game. And, you know, we, we, we're all excited by it and we're all looking forward to what might be but we've still got a bit of work to go. We've still got eight good days of county cricket left to play.